Hey guys, Jason Sayers back here once again with another drum reaction video. Today, this one comes from a very good friend of mine. His name is Graham and he sent it through by text. Sorry, you guys can't quite do that yet. But yeah, who knows? Maybe in the future I might set something up. But email, comments, you know, you can do all that on there. But um, yeah, I've never thought of doing this one actually. Today we are checking out a drum solo. Not quite the one that Graham suggested to me, um, but I'm going to do a, a different one just because it was slightly longer. Um, he recommended that I do did like a little short one from uh, his more recent videos. But anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing because this drum solo we are checking out comes from Europe's drummer. Um, I hope I'm saying this right. Ian Hogland. And yeah, you know, Let's see how this goes, shall we? That is a big kick. I'm going to say this is 80? 86. My birthday! Woohoo! I love 80s drum sounds. It's just ridiculously huge tops. There's a little bit of audio delay happening here. But those um, D drum triggers, even back in the 80s, damn. I didn't even know they were a thing back then. I just remember the old Simmons things. What is he wearing? <laughs> Looks like he's just finished playing tennis or something. <laughs> oh man. I must have missed it, but I don't know how the kick drum's carrying on. <laughs> I was too busy watching him come down the steps. <laughs> fingers. There we go. Very tight single strokes. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> do you know what i'm actually going to fix the audio lag on that before it even comes out just because it was like slightly off you'll probably see if you watch the uh, original video down in the description you'll notice that the um the audio and video don't quite sync up so i'm going to fix that so by the time you're hearing me say this i hopefully would have already fixed it somewhat um but yeah let's say this was a complete random suggestion that came through by text um yeah I, I would never have thought of doing europe's drummer um ian and i was thoroughly impressed by that actually it made a drum solo nice and interesting because usually whenever it gets to a drum solo you see the whole crowd like oh really not a drum solo come on ugh but then it's usually just a drummer just really showing off what he can do. Whereas actually he kind of did that and still put on a show. And it's just so 80s watching that. I love it. Literally just <laughs> the outfit as well with the white shorts just topped it for me. Just literally coming down looking like he just finished playing, I don't know, tennis, badminton. I don't know, volleyball. I don't know. Name a sport from the 80s. The, the fashion was crazy back then. Um Mind you, it's so bad. It ain't so good nowadays, is it really? Um, but yeah, I was really impressed with his drumming. The single strokes were absolutely phenomenal on that snare build up, um, coming into the flam right to the very end. I like some of the delays. I might have completely missed it, as I said in the video. I'm not too sure how the bass drum carried on um, throughout that performance. I don't know if a drum tech uh, jumped on. I mean, I'd have to like pause and rewind to actually look at that again because otherwise you're like oh look it was just there you missed it yeah i probably did there was a lot happening okay <laughs> forgive me <laughs> um yeah i was really really impressed by that um i need to check out some more maybe i will check out the very short video of his uh 2023 drum solo um properly it was just very short it was literally only about two minutes long i mean that'd be like a really short drum reaction and yeah, I don't think I'd get much out of his playing from watching that just yet. But yeah, I, th I was I thoroughly enjoyed that. Speaking of thoroughly enjoyed, if you do enjoy my content, man, these transitions are getting tight, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of content, all of my videos will be appearing on screen now. Don't forget to go and check them out. And please also do not forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep my content coming your way. I'll catch you on the next one.